let's create some charts and add it to a dashboard so that we can monitor our training pipelines. First, we'll create charts for the sklearn training pipeline. Let's add some tags here though, just like we did for the XG Boost model. Again, this helps with organization, filtering, etc. Let's go to the dashboard, and every pipeline can have its own dashboard. And there's an overview dashboard for the entire project. We can add recommended charts, we can create new charts, create custom charts, but here let's add some recommended charts. And these will simply show the different triggers, the runs, successful runs, types, all that good stuff. Here we can see the trigger status. We can also click on a new trigger and create a new one, create a, new a different type so that we can see what it looks like when it shows up on the dashboard. No, we don't have one there. We'll just create a API trigger. And we come here, they'll refresh, and you can see there's a second trigger type. We'd also create a custom chart as well if we wanted with custom code, custom data sources. And here's our dashboard.